Good morning gamers! So today I have Genshin Impact Inspired Hairstyles Part 3! If you haven't seen Part 1 and 2, you can check them out. In the right top hand corner, we are going to cover a ton of characters today and some of them aren't even released yet. So in order, I'm going to be doing The Traveler, Mimi, La Signora Part 2, Kazuha, Albedo, and Eula. Before we get started with this video, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an amazing and vast online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. There are so many courses available for every single person so that you could explore new skills, develop existing interests, and also get lost in your creativity. So for my first course on Skillshare, I chose to take part in the Productivity for Creatives taught by Thomas Frank. I've been working as a freelance creative for over five years now and I love how this course teaches about the reality of that. I think people don't really often see all of the hard work that goes on behind the scenes with this job and you can explore all different types of classes to unlock your creativity. So the first thousand people to use the link in my description box will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership and after that it's only around $10 per month. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and with that let's get started. So the first character that I'm going to be doing is the girl traveler. I say Lumine but my friends always say Lumine so I don't know. I think Lumine sounds cuter, sounds nicer. But anyway, we're going to start with the Traveler. First off, I have to say that her hairstyle is like a really fucked up haircut and there's no way in the world that I'm going to be able to like 100% replicate this with my long hair. I took some inspiration from her layers instead, so we're going to do a lot of sectioning. So first, I'm sectioning the front pieces of the hair framing my face and then I'm taking about an inch of hair close to the nape of my neck and I'm leaving that out. And then taking the rest of my hair, I'm kind of just loosely gathering up into a ponytail and then I'm twisting it off into one direction and then just taking any sort of like big hair clamp I'm just clamping this pretty high up on the top of my head and then here I'm just kind of fluffing it to make sure that it is nice and neat and I'm just doing my best to recreate it and then for the flowers that she has I'm just recreating that with some white crystal hair clips and that's it for this hairstyle super easy and I actually loved how this turned out it feels very early 2000s fashion to me for some reason I think it is a really cute hairstyle inspired by her. I am going to attempt to do Eula's hairstyle. It took so much to resist her banner because she is so sexy. And similar to Lumine, she has a very specific haircut. There's a lot of layers going on and it was definitely challenging to try to recreate this with my long unlayered hair. But this is just an inspiration and I think it turned out like kind of okay. First off, she has a headband. So I'm taking a thin purple headband to match my outfit and I'm just slapping this on and then taking about an inch of hair on the green side of my hair I'm folding this over and then again on the pink side I'm taking about an inch of hair and I'm folding this over onto the other side so basically you have kind of like a crisscross of hair at the top but to continue on I'm taking the rest of my hair and I'm tying it off into a low side ponytail and then she has a little hair accessory on one side of her hair and to replicate that I'm just taking a crystal bow clip and I'm clipping it over my headband and this also kind of helps to keep the hair in place. And that's it for this hairstyle. I do think that this creates a really interesting hairstyle especially with all these different colors. It's very pastel looking and it's just a fun hairstyle so it was some good inspiration. All right, next I'm going to recreate my sweet baby Albedo's hairstyle. Surprisingly, he is amongst one of the most highly requested hairstyles for me to cover. And I wonder why, because it's literally just a fat braid. <laughs> you ask and I answer. And I also love Albedo, so this is this is for him. So again, taking my rat tail comb, I'm just going to section about two inches of hair right above my ear. And then I'm going to braid this in a regular three strand braid. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is to braid in the direction that the braid is going to lay afterwards so that you don't get any lumps or bumps. So you want to braid facing towards the back of your head. And then I'm just lightly tugging at it to give it a little bit more volume. And then I'm tying this off temporarily with an elastic. And then I'm repeating on the other side.
Then from the back, I'm just joining these braids together and I am securing them with an elastic and then taking off my previous elastics. You could totally leave it the way it is right now because I think this is the most character accurate, but I decided to put a little crystal clip on the back to hide the elastic just because it reminds me of his attack in the game, his cute little crystal flowers. And that's it for this hairstyle. I think that it's super easy. Honestly, anyone can do this and it looks really charming too. It's just a nice, simple hairstyle. All right, so our next character is going to be La Signora. And I know that I already did her hairstyle in I think my last Genshin hairstyle video, but literally after I published that video, I got to her cutscene in my game and I was like, ah oh, shit, she has two bonds instead of one. So for the sake of character accuracy, I had to redo her hairstyle, but this time with two rosettes instead of one because I care. So first off with my pink side, I'm taking a rat tail comb and I'm bringing it over to create a faux side part. And then I'm going to section off a pretty large section of hair with the side part. And then on the other side, I'm sectioning about two inches of hair right before my ear and I'm going to leave all of this out. Then for the back, I'm going to section off the top half of my hair and I'm going to tie that off with an elastic. Then moving back to our little front section of hair, I am just twisting this away from my face loosely and I'm tugging it with my fingers to give it more volume. And then I'm bringing it backwards and joining it with the half updo and I'm tying this off with another elastic. And honestly, if you wanted to stop right here, this is already a stunning hairstyle, especially with some cascading waves and it's definitely very Genshin inspired. But again, we are going to finish off with her two rosettes. So from the back, I am splitting my ponytail in half and then I'm twisting it off to one side until it collapses onto itself into a bun. And then I'm just gonna secure this in place with some bobby pins. I'm creating my first bun at an angle and then my second bun is going to be nesting below it. So again, just repeating the same process, I'm twisting it off into a bun and collapsing it onto itself and then bobby pinning it in place. And that's it for this hairstyle. Honestly, it is very stunning, if I must say so myself. I definitely think that it looks more elegant than the first version I did, although the first version was much more simple and easy to do. This one is definitely more elegant and it definitely shows that you put in a little bit more effort into your hair. And from the side, by loosening that twist, you get more volume in this piece and it looks more accurate to how she has it in the game. So recently there have been a ton of character leaks for Genshin and there is this one character that was released called Mimi. You guys, like I am so stoked. She is so gorgeous and I was immediately captivated by her hairstyle and I was like, I know that I need to recreate this. From the back, she has a really interesting twisted overlap design and she has like two little loopies which are super cute. This overlapped design was really difficult to recreate because my hair is just way too long to do this, but if you have shorter hair, this would be a super easy hairstyle for you. So first off, I'm splitting my hair straight down the center in the back and disregarding the pieces of hair from me my face, I'm taking a small section of hair behind that and I'm starting to twist it away from my face. And with every twist or two, I'm adding a little bit more hair and I'm continuing to twist all the way down. And I'm twisting all the way down until I have about an inch of hair left by the nape of my neck and I'm leaving that out. And then from here, from the nape of my neck, I'm splitting this twist into three sections and I'm braiding it off into a regular three strand braid. And then I'm tying it off with an elastic and I'm tying the hair into a little bundle so that the ends of the hair stay tucked in neatly. I'm just going to repeat this on the other side. And then from the back, I'm taking my hair and I'm folding it into threes and I'm laying it across the opposite direction. Taking the other braid, again, I'm folding this into three underneath itself and I'm overlapping it over the previous braid and then I'm pinning this in place. Then I'm just taking a bunch of bobby pins and I am securing this in place. And then from the back, if you like really squint at her character sheet, you can see that she has these little pearls in her updo. So I'm just going to replicate that and spiral in these little pearls. And then taking these little pieces of hair by the nape of my neck, I'm just taking them and I'm folding them backwards, tucking it underneath the entire updo and pinning it in place. And that's it for this hairstyle. I think she is such a mermaid and this is such an amazing hairstyle, super whimsical. And I love the little loopies that she has. I think this is a really cool little trick to know. All right, the next hairstyle we're going to do is Kazuha. Kazuha fans, rise up. I'm very afraid for his banner. I'm afraid for my wallet, but 
<laughs> we'll see how that goes. So for this hairstyle, it's going to be a very simple one, but looking at his cute two-tone hairstyle with the little highlight, it gave me some inspiration. So I'm taking a pink extension that matches my pink side pretty well, and I'm going to clip this on my green side. So first I'm going to section off a pretty thick section of hair in the front, about three inches, and then taking the rest of my hair, I'm tying this off into a regular low ponytail. And then on my green side, I'm just lifting a section of hair and then I'm clipping on my pink extension. And then literally I'm just taking my ponytail and I'm bringing it over my shoulder on the other side. And that's essentially what his hairstyle is. I actually really like this hairstyle because it gives just like a little pop of color. And I always forget that you can definitely use extensions to give yourself that little bit of color. And I think it's also super cool because it sort of mixes up my split hair color and it looks kind of like a mix instead. I think I would also love to just wear this hairstyle with the ponytail down so that I just have like a little bit of pink on my green side. And that's it for this video of Genshin Impact Inspired Hairstyles Part 3. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and also just thank you so much for like the positive feedback on the video where I just like played Genshin for an hour. I was super super happy to just like read everyone's like geeky comments. It made me so happy <laughs> to just you know talk to people in the same community with the same hobbies as me. So thank you guys so much and also thank you as usual to my lovely amazing supportive patreons so thank you so much to ckl j chelsea selena lee gabrielle kina credone tiffany sweet moon bubble georgia question mark lena's rain gregorio tina kylan carla yoselin emma winna alana k kathy celine elena karen angie and luna rose i love you guys and i will see you guys again next week